Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I have a huge fall candles by Victoria Hall. And I don't just mean I have a lot of candles in front of me. I mean, I have jumbo candles in front of me. I am in my big candle era and I love it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Candles by Victoria recently had a sale, and whenever a small business has a sale, I always like to take advantage, especially when Candles by Victoria has a sale because her stuff doesn't go on sale a, a lot. So what I do, because if you have an account with her, which you should, it's free, you can add things to your wish list or add things to your cart, and it stays there. So I just build up a cart, and then once she has a sale, check out. Because clearly everything in my cart I want. Obviously, I'll tweak it and do some things. But for the most part, things that I have in my cart, I really wanted. So as soon as the sale happened, I placed my order and I saved 20% on everything. So I got a lot of good stuff. I got a six pack of her 16 ounce country jar candles. They have the Candles by Victoria sticker on the top and they're just a ball jar, one wick candle. I'm actually burning one right here, if you can see, in pumpkin pecan waffles, which I am loving. And so I did a six pack of those in some fall fragrances just to have for the season. I ordered a couple scent shots in scents that I wanted to try. And then I ordered four of the really big candles. So as always, every order that you get from Candles by Victoria, you get a free scent shot. And mine was in a good one, Kiwi Raspberry. Now, these are two ounce scent shots. And what you can do is you can add some pressure to the bottom and it pops right out. And then you can either cut this in half or throw the whole thing in your warmer. Most people cut them in half. I sometimes just throw the whole thing in to get a real strong throw in a big area. But this is nice. It's equal parts kiwi and raspberry, really fruity, really strong, just like everything from Candles by Victoria. I feel like when I review her stuff, I never have to say, oh, I hope this is a strong throw because everything that she makes is super strong. Her, her products are triple scented, so they hold the most fragrance load with her unique wax formula that they can, so they're super strong. She did create the scent shot, home of the scent shot, years and years and years ago. So it was a nice way since she has an online business that you can try out a fragrance without committing to it. These little guys are just two bucks and she throws a free one in every order. So it's always fun to see what your mystery scent is going to be. And mine was Kiwi Raspberry. So really excited to try that one out. Now I got two fragrances that could not be more different from one another. The first one is Wild Sage and Aloe. I've been seeing so many people talk about this in the Facebook group. And I was like, oh, I have to try that. Oh, this one's going to be a little bit of a pain to get out. Sometimes they are. So, oh, there we go. Just a little bit of pressure to the bottom of the cup and then they pop out. This is nice. It's very green and very fresh. I think this will be a nice bathroom fragrance because it has that fresh greenness of the sage. And then that almost like wet type of fragrance from the aloe, if you know what I mean. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah, I really like this. If you like aloe fragrances, if you like those like really sweet, sweet, like aquatic type notes, definitely give that one a try. Fresh and green. And this one was recently added to the website, Vanilla Gelato and Waffle Cone, which sounds right up my alley. And oh my gosh, listen, I have made some waffle cones in my day and this smells exactly like a waffle cone when you walk into an ice cream shop. I don't know if you know, but Victoria does have a regular waffle cone fragrance and it has a little bit of a spice to it. Like not like red hot cinnamon spice, but almost like a rich, deep, like baked fragrance. But I feel like mixed with a vanilla gelato makes this smell more realistic to a true waffle cone. Because how many people just eat plain waffle cones? I mean, listen, I know some people do, but for the most part, you're eating it with some ice cream. So with the vanilla ice cream in here, or vanilla gelato, this is nice. This is like a true ice cream shot. So I cannot wait to melt this. 
and see how it transforms. So I let all of my Candles by Victoria stuff sit for at least two weeks before I burn or melt them because everything that you order from her website is hand poured when you place the order. So nothing is sitting on a shelf. Her and her family are hand pouring these candles and wax melts for you when you place the order. So I give it about two weeks so that way all the fragrance oils combine with the wax and get stronger for you so they're ready to go. All right, now into my six pack of uh, 16 ounce jar candles. Again, I told you they look just like this. And the first one I actually got was Leaves Type. I love leaves from Bath & Body Works. It's like a mauled apple cider fragrance, and this smells just like leaves. Now, again, these are fresh, so it's not as strong as the leaves fragrance you might smell if you go into the store. But I know with some cure time, and when you light this up, it will be. It smells just like leaves. Again, when you hear leaves, it does not smell like leaves outside. It's the leaves fragrance from Bath & Body Works. So it's rich, and that warm like nutmeg and cinnamon and apple cider and almost like a nectar fragrance, like a honey fragrance in there. It is beautiful. I love, love this. So I definitely knew I needed to get a candle of this for the fall season. The next one is Frosted Cinnamon Roll. Now, I did get this in a scent shot in my last order. And Chelsea and her husband, Wade, they work at Candles by Victoria, Victoria's daughter and son-in-law. She was saying in a Facebook Live that they did that this fragrance was one of her favorites of any of the newer type fragrances to come out. And when I smelled that scent shot, I knew this is a cinnamon roll. And this says Frosted Cinnamon Roll emphasis on the frosting. If you like a cinnamon roll with heaps and heaps of cream cheese frosting, this is it. This smells like a cinnamon roll baked fresh out of the oven and then loaded with cream cheese frosting. This smells so good. This is like an ultimate bakery candle and I cannot wait to light this for the fall. Oh, this one is yummy. Ooh, yummy, yummy, yummy. So really excited for that one. I'm excited for all of these, let's face it. This next one is Nutty Peach Crumble. Now, Nutty Peach Crumble, fun orange wax here, is a blend of her, oh, I want to say her apple, I honestly don't remember. Is it apricot crumble, apricot crumb cake mixed with something peach? I honestly cannot remember, but the combination sounded incredible to me. So I had to try it. And this is so, so good. This is, oh, this is Cajun cornbread and something else. Her Cajun cornbread is a mix of peach preserves and Kim's Country cornbread is Cajun cornbread. So it's that combo mixed with something nutty. I can't remember what it is. But oh, is this yummy. This is rich. If you like peach bakery fragrances, like a peach, like a peach pie, a homemade peach pie, this is your candle. It smells just like a peach pie fresh out of the oven. Oh, I love. And I also wanted to talk about, these came when it was like 100 degrees. Nothing is melted, nothing at all. Her, Matt, who works at Candles by Victoria, who packs all of these orders, does such a great job. Everything is wrapped 10 times in bubble wrap, and then it's filled with biodegradable packing peanuts. So none of this stuff is gonna melt in transit. Everything is going to arrive to you fresh in one piece. And if for something, ha if for some reason something does happen and something does come broken, if you just email Candles by Victoria, Victoria herself will reply to you and she will make it right. She does not want anybody to not be happy with her orders or with her products. So just reach out to her and she will definitely make it right for you. Now, this was a surprise favorite in my last order, Crisp Fall Day. It is a blend of sweater weather the Bath and Body Works type, and apples and oaks. Now, I am not a fan of sweater weather from Bath and Body Works. The juniper is just like a little too sharp for me or something. It's just not a fragrance that I really care for. So I was like, oh, let me try it in a scent shot mixed with that apples and oaks. I smell the sweater weather in here, but the way that the apples and oaks blends with it instantly makes all the things that I don't like about sweater weather go away. And this does smell, like the name says, a crisp fall day. It smells like 
your windows are open, you have maybe some apple cider in your house, like on the stove, and it just smells like there's coolness in the air, the fall leaves outside, everything captured in a candle on a crisp fall day. The name, perfect, and I love the color, this bright, like Crayola crayon red color. So yeah, definitely a fan of this one. Definitely will burn this and enjoy every drop of that because this one is yummy. I really, really like that one. Next is pumpkin apple cinnamon bread. Another one that I got in the original order that is so great. Now this one I've melted before, so I know it really transforms on cold because right now it just smells like a spiced pumpkin fragrance. But when you burn this or you melt it, that yeasty bread note comes out and that apple, pumpkin apple bread, let me tell you, this is heavenly when you burn it. If you have company coming over and you want it, fall, it to smell like fall in your house, pumpkin apple cinnamon bread is the way to go every single time. It's warm, it's comforting, it's bakery, it's fall spices. It's everything you want a fall candle to be that's not pumpkin spice and not apple spice. It's like the best of all the worlds of fall combined. So your house will still smell like quintessential fall without being like a basic fall candle. So really love pumpkin apple cinnamon bread if you want like that quintessential fall bakery. And then last in the 16 ounces is honey pear cider. Now this is an, not an older fragrance, but it's a fragrance that everybody knows. Scentsy has a great fragrance called honey pear cider and they discontinued it and a lot of people were upset. Um, someone asked Victoria if she had that fragrance. She said no, but she would come up with her version of it. And this does not, this is not a dupe of the Scentsy Honey Pear Cider. It is Victoria's spin on it. Now, let me tell you, I don't know if it's in here, but if you're familiar with Candles by Victoria's Bath Time with Poo fragrance, the honey note in there almost leans honey soapy. For me, like, it's a dupe of a very popular bath bomb company's soap that sounds like bath time with poo, if you know what I mean. Yes, this smells just like that with a little bit of that pear, that crisp, fresh pear mixed with it. But I feel like, honey, I washed, oh, bath time with poo is mixed in with this a little bit. So, don't quote me, but it does smell like it's mixed in with there a little bit. I love her bath time with poo, so I picked it up right away. So I'll be very curious to see how that is. So those were the six candles that I picked up. Now, again, I told you I'm in my big candle era. You saw I have that sniff jumbo candle. I love a big candle, especially I have a dining room table. I have my living room coffee table. And those spaces are very open. It opens into the kitchen. It opens into the bathroom, the laundry room, and the hallway. So I like a big, big candle to fill those massive spaces. And originally, Candles by Victoria had a big candle called the Big Bertha. Now, she changed it a little bit. This one has a different lid. She updated it a little bit. So this is called a Big Bertha 2.0. Now, if you know me and you know this color and some of my favorite fragrances from Candles by Victoria, you're not going to be surprised that I got it in Granny's Pie Crust. Now, you might think this giant 70-ounce candle, you guys, 70 ounces in pie crust. Granny's pie crust is a fragrance I've told you before. When you smell it, this lid comes out. It has a gasket, so it's going to keep it nice and fresh. It's four wicks. Look at that four wick baby there. This smells like the most buttery, decadent. I'm holding it like a baby. It's my baby. Delicious pie crust fragrance. Oh my gosh, I love this scent. And every Sunday morning, Candles by Victoria, or Victoria, does a change out wax with me videos. I'll link her latest one down below from last Sunday. I love watching her. She changes her wax, talks about her week. Just a really fun little video. And she's been burning a Big Bertha in Granny's pie crust in the background of the video. And it's burning down so clean, 
all the way down to the bottom, no soot, nothing. And I'm like, this would be the perfect candle to burn in my dining room and then burn like another candle in the living room or in my bedroom. So when the doors are open, this wafts and mixes with others because it's a pie crust fragrance, it's gonna go with so many things. So my first big birthday candle, probably not my last, is in Granny's Pie Crust. So again, this is a big candle to commit to. It's literally almost the size of my head, but I love Granny's Pie Crust. And if you have not tried it from Candles by Victoria, you are seriously missing out. It is the best pie crust fragrance I've ever smelled. So she does have a fall version of the Big Bertha. And it is in a pumpkin. Look at this beautiful pumpkin. It has a glass lid right there. So it'll stay nice and fresh for you. It's also four wicked. And again, if you know me, this guy is in pumpkin pecan waffles. I'm burning the small version of it right here. I love pumpkin pecan waffles. It's the dupe for Bath & Body Works. It smells just like it. I can burn pumpkin pecan waffles all year long. So I knew for fall, I wanted to get a big pumpkin pecan waffles candle because for obvious reasons, I want this to fill every nook and cranny of my house with pumpkin pecan waffles. So I picked this jumbo guy up. It again is just as big as my head. I need two hands to hold this guy, ultimate candle. And I think this will look so great when I'm burning it and when I'm not, because it looks just like a beautiful centerpiece, that beautiful pumpkin. So really excited for that one. Now, speaking of pumpkin, <laughs> this looks mini compared to all the other ones, even though it is massive. This is a 32 ounce cube candle. I featured this candle on my channel before, and it is in pumpkin pralines, which is her caramelized pralines and her pumpkin picking mixed together. It is triple wicked. And what they do is they have the cubes in the fragrance in a color, and then the overpour is in white that they fill the jar with the cubes and then they go ahead and pour the white wax over there, triple wicked. So it'll burn down all the way clean and it has a big, big, as she calls it, a scent door. So this big opening for you when you burn it to really get all that fragrance and this scent is so great. Pumpkin pralines is like a creamy, rich, decadent caramelized praline or caramelized pumpkin fragrance. It is so good. It's nutty. It's warm. It's a hint spice because of the pumpkin, but at the end of the day, it is the ultimate delicious pumpkin candle. So very excited to burn this one. At least sit it out for a couple weeks so it's a beautiful display candle before I do light it. But I love this candle. It's one of my favorites and I love the way that it burns from her. Now, full disclosure, as you see, when you're looking at the candle direct like this, there is some cubes above the wax. So I recommend burning this on a paper plate the first time because it will spill over onto the paper plate. It's okay. Once it does that, trim the wicks. Your candle will burn fine the whole rest of the way down. They're designed to be burned. So they are designed they, they are going to overflow a little bit because the design is over the top of the jar. It'll be fine. You can scrape out that wax off the paper plate, pop it in a warmer, and you're good to go. So you don't waste any of the wax. Just wanted to put that out there. And then last but not least for this haul video is a giant bread pan candle in butter pecan waffle. Now this is another fragrance that I love from Victoria. It's just like a rich, creamy waffle rich, buttery, sweet, delicious gourmand waffle. But with her bread pan candle, take a look at this. All right, it's six wicks, because this is a big, large candle. It has these crumbs on the top, some pecans, and then a bunch of little pumpkins. Now, the top, I get more of a cinnamon crumb, because the top layer is always going to be in her cinnamon fragrance, her like cinnamon sugar scent. I can't remember what the top is, but I got it the bottom, the rest of the candle in butter pecan waffle because I thought it would go well with it. I mean, 
if you want to get like a lavender scent, you know, you can do what you want. Just know that the top layer is going to be a like cinnamon bakery fragrance. So make sure you get something that complements it. But this is an ultimate six wick candle. Love how large and in charge this is. And this guy with being so big is going to give such a great throw. And honestly, if you didn't see the wicks in here, you would think this was like a loaf of bread, like a delicious loaf of fall bread in on your counter. So I love this. People come over, they're like, oh my God, are you baking bread? No, nope, it's a candle. Yeah, I love this. This is also such a fun gift. Someone has a birthday in the fall or, you know, a housewarming or just because. What a great, unique gift to get someone that, you know, people have not probably seen before. And this is also a massive candle. So like I said, I'm in my big candle era. You're probably going to see me getting a lot more giant sized candles in the future. So let me know if you've tried anything from Candles by Victoria. What do you love? Are you ready for fall? If you can see, I did start decorating for fall. I just could not wait any longer. I used to decorate during the 4th of July because I just love fall so much. But unfortunately, it's been so hot but I was off of work and I could not take it anymore. So I did start to decorate. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Victoria, for making all these incredible goodies for me. I did pay for them myself. This is not sponsored, but as always, thank you, Victoria. She does such a great job. Her and her whole family, Chelsea, Wade, and Matt, they always make such great products. So Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys. Bye.